I really just like doing this now. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> so, I am here. I am ready to do some makeup for somebody. Um, I didn't expect my last video to get 2,000 views. Um, granted that's not a lot, but for me it is. Normally it's like 16. So, anyways, I just want to get started. So, I am being two things for Halloween. I, that was the chair. <laughs> <laughs> that was the chair problem. The first one, I am going to be the new Joker because I'm going to work and I'm supposed to dress up. I think I am. Anyways, and I wanted something that was easy. So I thought, okay, well, I'll come on here and just do a little tutorial. But then I was like, you know, Kaylin, that's like one of the biggest movies of 2019. There's going to be about 5,000 tutorials on the YouTubes about that. And you know what? And I was like, you know, that's fine. I don't care. Like, it'll be mine. It'll be different. But then it hit me. Wonder if I did half and half. Like this side Heath Ledger, this side Walking Phoenix Joker. So I mean I haven't seen that done. I haven't really looked either though, so I don't know. Anyways, the first thing to do is to take this makeup off. So I am back. My face is for the most part clean now. Um, and so I was looking at Heath Ledger's version and normally I would use probably something like scar wax for the scars, but I just so happened to blend, 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 blend mine to somebody else. So, we're gonna have to use latex and toilet paper. I'm gonna just start out by kind of mapping out where I want the scars to be to begin. So then I'm just gonna take some tiny pieces of toilet paper that are about the same size you don't want it to you want it to be about the same size you don't want it to be you know, like going some random spot like you can with other situations where it doesn't matter as much so I'm looking at the pictures and he has like like, I don't know, like the skin's thicker where the scar is ending on the ends because it's like the skin's like pushed back. So that's what I'm sort of trying to create. Kind of just ball it up and put it in some spots on the side to kind of make it look like again like that skin is being pushed out how does anybody feel about the movie Coraline I personally love that movie but like I know so many people who think I'm just like psycho because I love it um so what is your opinion on that movie if you're watching this video? We'll start working on Joaquin's version. Joaquin. So for him, he's not too hard, honestly. But none of these are really too hard, but. Here, I'm just gonna take some white face paint. And why does this look so opaque? Oh no. 
put straight into my lap. Oh, I might just have to use the good old fingers. I might be the only way in this situation. Yeah. Okay, now that you kind of got your white on, I'm gonna come back over to this side and start messing with the scar a little bit. So I don't recommend using something like this, please, but this is what I have. And I'm gonna do something else. So I just really wanna start trying to kind of separate it a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way across, but just through the center. Take it right down a little bit. That's a little bit more open. There we go. And the face paints I'm using, by the way, are the, just the, the Snazaru ones that you get at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They're not my favorite. I honestly don't have a favorite because <laughs> these are the ones I've had. So I've got the blue and the black and the um, walk the my eyes really red. Anyway, Joaquin's Joker is, he has blue, but it's not, it's like a turquoise kind of blue, it's darker. So I want to try to see if I can mix these to get just a darker color blue, it doesn't have to be exact. with the top one like right in his eyebrow okay now we're gonna move on to the red on his his like eyebrow and his lip and I do want to add a little bit of black to that as well just to kind of give it a tiny bit more of a yeah a darker color supposed to sort of be messy so yeah I just kinda want it to look a little bit like we didn't try too hard. Let's go ahead and go in the black around his eyes. Okay. 
He doesn't want to really like rub his up a little bit, so I'm going to take off like some of his white paint. Not that much, but... Okay, so now we get to move on to the fun part. We are gonna go to the lips, and I really just wanna start out with some red. These are pretty red, so I just wanna kind of go with normal red at first. And then we can darken it up or something in a second. Taking a tiny bit more grease paint, and this is just black grease paint. But I'm gonna try to sort of darken up some of these edges. So, yeah, this is the final look as far as the makeup goes. Um, so let me go spray my hair and that's it, go. And put on a coat and I'll be back, my loves. So as it would turn out, when I bought green hairspray, <laughs> it was just green silly string. But I slicked my hair back, I put on my suit, and yeah. So we got Mr. Whatever. And then we got Mr. Pink. But didn't I tell you, like, my hair is, like, perfect for this? Kind of. Anyways. So, y'all guys, this is the final look. Um. I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. I hope you like it so much.
Okay.